President Trump sounded angry moments after the attorney general released his summary of the Mueller report. It was a complete and total exoneration. It's a shame that our country had to go through this. To be honest, it's a shame that your president has had to go through this. This was an illegal takedown that failed. And hopefully somebody's going to be looking at the other side. All right. Joining us now is Cliff Sims. He was the director of White House Message Strategy, and he's the author of Team of Vipers, My 500 Extraordinary Days in the Trump White House. Good morning, Cliff. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I know you've had the opportunity to speak to some of your former colleagues who are still at the White House over the past 24 hours. What are they saying? Well, the, the mood is pretty much exuberant, relief, feeling vindicated. I mean, you have to remember, for those of us who worked on the campaign and then worked in the White House, uh, there was always this kind of cloud. There was always even, you know, you're going out and people find out you work for Trump or you wear a Trump jacket and people start shouting things at you and saying you're a traitor and your president's a traitor and all these different kind of things. And so, uh, you know, working there is already a tough, it's a tough environment. And then you add that on top of it, you really don't realize till you leave, which I have the benefit now of having left and having kind of hindsight on this, just how stressful that was. And so to see this come out that there's no evidence of collusion, uh, really feeling vindicated in that. And so it's a, it's a good day for America, frankly, but also a good day for a lot of us who, who worked for the president. I mean, some of the reporting is that the president himself was quite relieved. And I think it's interesting because, you know, even if you are certain of your innocence, you never know what, what the prosecutors are going to find. And so I can yeah. imagine in the White House, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, that while people were confident, I assume, in the president claiming that, he, that there was no connection, you couldn't be sure. Well, sure. And, and I think that was where he was kind of coming from. If, if you're him in this situation, and ever since the day you got elected, basically people have been saying that you were in cahoots with a foreign power to get that, uh, of course there's going to be frustration. Of course there's going to be anger. And of course there's going to be questions about, well, do, what about some random low-level staffer in some part, you know, the George Papadopoulos of the world and what really happened there? And so it's just frustration and anger that kind of boils over. And that's why a lot of the things that the president says publicly about this have matched what he says privately about this. And he's always been very angry, and I think justifiably so. And so, uh, yeah, that's where you see him come out right after the, uh, the news comes out and say, saying, you know, we need to see, uh, you know, where did, what was the genesis of this? I mean, we know the dossier, we know some of the other things that happened, but I think that frustration bowling over and saying, hey, the people who did this, who put me through this for the last two years, they deserve to have a little bit of a look under the hood, too, and see where their, you know, what their real intentions were behind that. But just to be clear, Robert Mueller was appointed because President Trump fired James Comey. So who put him through it? Well, I think that, that, that the whole investigation preceding that moment is, is what we're talking about. What was the genesis of this? What was the reasoning behind this? I mean, I, I've kind of been a, a news observer on a lot of this, and I've heard Democrat after Democrat, uh, intelligence official after former intelligence official say that there's all this evidence of collusion. And Robert Mueller, who, you know, two days ago, they had, you know, Robert Mueller superhero action figures out there saying that this guy's a hero. Uh, and now they're saying, well, we don't know about this. We're going to have to see the whole thing, and they can't take the guy's word for it. And so I just think there's a lot of hypocrisy uh, in this entire thing. And look, Allison, if you know, I've been on the show before. I'm not afraid to criticize the president where it's justified, but I think if you're going to shoot straight, uh, this is a moment where the, the president deserves to feel vindicated and deserves to feel very frustrated because of what he's been put through this, and based on the Mueller report, uh, completely unjustified. And so let's talk about that. When the president feels frustrated, as I think we heard in him talking to the reporters that we just played. What does he do? What does he mean when he says, I think somebody should look into the other side? What's he going to do next? Well, I don't know. I think what we've seen to this point is the president normally vents about these things. He doesn't take a lot of proactive kind of action in terms of his uh, ability as the president to, to direct this, that, or the other. It's more like somebody needs to look into that. And then he normally he's looking at the Department of Justice and saying somebody needs to look into this. And I think if you're him, again, there's some justifiable frustration there where you say, you guys said over and over that there was all this evidence of collusion, yeah. and now the underlying premise of all of this, uh, it doesn't exist. And so I think he is saying, hey, is somebody in Congress, is somebody in the DOJ going to look at this very unjust and very unfair way that I've been treated for the last two years? Yeah, I mean, I guess what I'm getting at is, it, will he be looking for political payback? 
So, yes, yeah. he's frustrated, but will he be looking for political payback? And who's going to pay that pound of flesh? Well, in, in terms of political payback, the people that I talked to in the, in the White House over the last 24 hours talk a lot about what this means for 2020 and where we go for here. And, and I, I think you are going to see him use this a, as a political bludgeon. And a lot of the 2020 Democrats, and still even after the, the news has come out, I mean, Beto O'Rourke went out minutes after this thing, uh, the, the report comes out and says, you know, I still think that there was collusion. It's almost this like conspiracy theory now that has hijacked the primary of the Dem Democratic Party for the 2020 election. So in terms of political retribution, I think the main thing is going to be using this in the election in 2020 in the campaign uh, to remind people that, hey, this is their whole premise for beating me because the economy's great. I've defeated ISIS. Go down the list of accomplishments. They said there was collusion. They said the Russians put me in office, not you. I think that's the message you can expect to hear from him uh, going toward 2020. All right, Cliff Sims, thank you very much for giving us some insight into how people in the White House, including the president, are feeling today. Thanks thank you. Me.